Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a Wonder Beyond beer. This one is called Buffo Buffo and this is an Imperial Milkshake IPA with blueberries and this is a nice 12%. Um, this one I got from the Wonder Beyond website with a couple more in my fridge, a nice little special which I'm going to do later in the month or something. I can't, I don't know when, probably December at this rate. Um, yeah, and this cost me probably seven pounds ish. I don't really know, I can't remember. Um, and I've not had this one before, but I quite like a milkshake IPA. Um, usually they tend to be nice and thick and just nice and flavorful. Um, and this one, like I said, 12%, so it should be a good one. This is not a vegan friendly beer, it is red vegetarian friendly, but it's not vegan friendly um, because it's got, I'm assuming, lactose in. Yeah, lactose, so it's not unfortunately vegan friendly. Um, so any vegans out there, you, you have to give this one a dodge, but I'll still let you know what it's like. So with all that said, uh, best before on this is March 2024, so it's still got a bit of time on it. Let's crack it open and see what we've got, shall we? Going in the uh, lovely Wonder Beyond glass. Donated by the beer dad. Alright, so that is not the colour I thought it was going to be, but it still looks good nonetheless. It is, as you can see, a nice deep red beer. Like really, really dark red with a pink, it's going away now, but a bright pink head. Um, looks lovely. Let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? Oh, you can smell that lactose. It smells yogurty. You smell blueberries. A little bit of mango in there. It's fruity. It's it's got a nice berry, blueberry smell to it. It's lactose in there, that yogurty smell. It's got little hops in there as well. That smells really good. Um, it's a mouthful for body and cup. As expected, carb dead light, body, uh, medium to full body. So far, so good. Let's get a big old taste. Cheers. Now, Wonder Beyond are pretty infamous for making really really high ABV beers and just taking that ABV flavor out and hiding it really really well um, this is an exception to that uh, this one you can taste this alcohol 12% you, you've got a good grasp of how strong it is just from the flavor alone you get this nice warm and feel on the tongue goes down the throat you've got a nice warm and alcohol flavor to it um, yeah, you can taste the alcohol on it. Flavor-wise, I think there's something missing from it. Um, I can get mangoes. I can get a hint of blueberry. Blueberry's not really that strong, to be fair. Um, I can get the lactose and the yogurt taste flavor to it. There's a bit of vanilla in there, which I couldn't smell, but you can taste. Uh, so it's got a nice sweetness to it, but... There's just something. It needs to be at the end of the beer. There's just something that's just... You get your flavour, but then it just drops quickly and goes away really, really quickly. So it doesn't linger. There's none of that sticks around and, and, and gives you like uh, flavours uh, flavors later on. Um, it just... You get this nice big peak of just all your flavours at once and then instantly it goes away. Pardon me. So it's like, yeah, a nice little thing of that and then straight down. It's like Oblivion in Alton Towers. You go up and it's straight back down. Um, yeah, you get your lactose, you get your vanilla, you get a hint of blueberries. It is literally a hint though. I, I wasn't expecting, I was expecting nice big juicy blueberries, but I'm not. But a hint of that. Uh, some mangoes in there. And then once you've got all that, it just drops instantly to alcohol. 
that lingering alcohol. That's that's what you get. You get lingering alcohol. <sighs> yeah, you don't get this nice lingering fruits and all that. It's just it goes away and it becomes this just alcohol, twelve percent vapor in your mouth, just strong alcohol. That's that's it. It's just alcohol at the end. Um, yeah, it's a it's a it's an exception. It really is. Um, usually, <coughs> usually one to be on tends to be really well hidden with alcohol. Um, Fifteen percent, very well hidden, and then flavors are just fantastic, and it just goes on forever. This one is the reverse. You've got your alcohol is standing out, and your flavors just don't stick. They, yeah, it, it just doesn't stick. It's not, it's not staying in my, it's not staying. They're just going instantly. Bit of a shame. Um, but if that's what they were going for, I'm not really getting it. It's just not what they do usually. I'm not getting it, but hey ho, it's you know that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. If that's not what they're doing, they've clearly made a mistake somewhere. Um, I think I'm going to call it for this review. I'm going to go away and drink this because it is a 12 percenter and it, I did pay money for it. It's good. It's just not there. Um, so yeah, um, I didn't go over the can art, so I'll do that really quickly. So it's just the, the hop people uh, swimming with what looks like blueberry frogs. Um, with underwater lilies or something, I don't know. Anyway, um, Wonder Beyonds, um, Buffo Buffo, I think that's how you pronounce it, Imperial Milkshake IPA with blueberries. Out of 10, uh, I'm just reading the ingredients quick, see if there's anything in there that I could identify that's knocking it off. There's not. Um, right, yeah, out of 10, um, I'm going to give it a f six and a half. I'm brutal with this one because I really like Wonder Beyond. But this one's just not what they usually do. Um, yeah, six and a half because it, I don't think it deserves a six, but it's too, it, it doesn't really deserve a seven either. Um, so yeah, if you've had this before, please let me know. Uh, there it is. Let me know what you think, if you like it, if you don't. If, um, if you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Wonder Beyond's website down below. That's where I got mine from. Um, I think they're still selling it, I'm not sure. If you like the video though, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth, and I'll see you later.